Once again, thank you for coming. As you all know, now that's wild, I'll tell you that much. As you all know, tonight's event would not be possible without the support of our sponsors. And once again, give a big round of applause to our main sponsor, AMD. AMD continues to put out amazing processors, graphics cards, and all the things that drive our creative, our wild creativity. We also have a few new sponsors this year. We've got Red Giant, makers of Magic Bullet, Gen Arts, and, and other products as well. Gen Arts, makers of Sapphire and Sapphire Edge, and Singular Software, makers of Pluralize, among other products. And you can see all of these companies in the Sony booth in the kiosk area. Also, those of you that have been to the user group event here before, you know we love raffle prizes, and tonight is no exception. We're giving away camcorders, software, Vegas, production assistant from Vast, Acid, Soundforge. We're giving away Red Giant software, software from Sapphire, and software from Pluralize. Remember, you must be present to win, and the raffles will take place immediately after our main presentation. And now, I once again have the unique pleasure of introducing somebody who in this crowd needs no introduction. However, I think tonight at our 12th annual event, I'd like to tell you something that maybe some of you don't know. Going back 13 or 14 years in the offices in Madison, Wisconsin, I remember this guy going toe to toe with the chief technical officer on individual product specs for the new upcoming release of Vegas version one. You guys, you're gonna release Vegas and it's not gonna have external preview, it's not gonna have this feature, what about my pet feature over here? Come on guys, this product needs it. And for 12, oh I'm sorry, for 11 versions, <laughs> that's how the process has gone. Many of the tools you find inside of Vegas started inside the mind of our next speaker. <coughs> and when we say somebody wrote the book on a subject, in this instance, he's written several books and several versions of books on Vegas editing software and many other video production topics. So ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Douglas Spotted Eagle. Can't you find a better picture? I mean, come on, Dave. Well, good, day, good evening, everyone. We say this every year. It's been a long time uh, since we started the process, and it's, it's fun to see us keep growing every year and all the different things that we have been doing for the, the past year. This year has been, uh, it's been insane with Vegas. First of all, I want to tell you that uh, this new book that we have out on Vegas, the new editing workshop, was written from the ground up. David McKnight um, was my tech editor on this book. I know David's somewhere in the room here. But uh, David David said to me last, last uh, fall when Vegas 11 came out, I think we need to burn down the manuscript from the old one and, and start again. If I had any, any idea how bad or how old the Vegas 4 and Vegas 5 book versions were and, and some of the things we'd reprocessed, I probably would have done things differently. But uh, David inspired me to write a brand new book and uh, from, from the ground level up, it's got lots of things on 3D and, and some of the new audio tools and some of the other compositing tools that are found in Vegas. So I'm excited about that. It's been a busy year for us. We've been testing Vegas and, and working with Vegas in a variety of environments. One of the things I've been most excited about, of course, you know, I'm deeply involved in the skydiving world. Um, and for those of you that keep asking how my health is, <laughs> I'm great, guys. Thank you for asking. Um, I started jumping about five months after the accident. It may have been a little bit of a mistake. We kind of bent the metal inside my body. But um, we've been working a lot with, with different cameras and different formats in Vegas. And the thing that is impressing people the most, the thing that we run into on sets all over the world, is we have guys that are shooting things like Red Epics and Red Ones, or they're shooting some of these new high-speed cameras you can see uh, in the, the picture on the upper left. That's a thousand frame a second camera that's in uh, as a prototype right now. Um, and you can see some other cameras that we're testing there, but a lot of different formats. And we get on these sets and we just take cards out and we pop them into the laptop and we start editing. And you have all these guys that are coming from the Apple world or 
from other application was looking and saying, wait, wait a second, how are you doing that? You're not transferring it, you're not transcoding it, you're not doing anything with it. That was one of the things that I think blew Donald's mind away was when he saw that we were able to edit content right off of the card, no transfer, no transcode, no nothing, mixing different frame rates, mixing different resolutions, uh, mixing different format types all in the timeline and watching it all happen in real time, it just blows their minds. Um, the middle picture that you see right there, that's an HTC commercial. You've probably seen it. It's just starting to hit the airwaves right now uh, on television, and it's all over the internet for the new HTC phone. And uh, when you do see that, none of it is CGI. All of it is 100% uh, real. It's all practical. It's where we're putting the makeup on the, the skydiver and falling through the air in real time. So you can see the uh, 3D camera on my helmet down there. We've been working a lot with uh, 3D as well. So we're pretty excited about that. But let's take a second and talk about what else has been going on with uh, some of the, the tools. So uh, you know we've got a lot of software out there. We've, uh, Vast has been developing lots and lots of software. And for the first time in a number of years, uh, John Refrano has made his way here to NAB. He's our senior developer. And John is the guy that's the brains behind all the code that works there and makes things go. So John, where are you? I'd like you to stand up so everybody can give him a, a round of applause. There he is right in the back. begin to, to guess where my life would be without this guy. He's one of my, my dear friends, and we've been doing a lot of things together for many, many years. So, JR, I'm glad you finally made it back to NAB to see what's happening with the crew here. Right. So, let's talk about the plugins that uh, we develop over at Bass. First of all, Production Assistant. Production Assistant is the slam on BAM tool for automating your production workflow. We've installed this into all kinds of action sports centers and broadcasters around the world. We see it at NBC, ABC, CNN, Com sports network. We're seeing it very heavily involved in uh, the aircraft industry where they're they're turning around these thrill rides. We're seeing it happen over the stratosphere when you go on the uh, the bungee jump or not a bungee jump but the uh, the base jump off the side of the building and you jump from the building fall to the ground. All those things are processed inside of Sony Vegas. They're throwing a little camera on the wrist. You're falling down the side of the building just like a real base jump. When you come down they pop that, pop that card in and, and a template based creation tool that Bass developed about five years ago specifically for ABC Nightline has become the automation go-to tool for broadcasters all over the world. We just sold a bunch of these into uh, a bunch of licenses into Dubai, and we ended up delivering uh, hard, hard-based systems right into Dubai. So we're pretty excited about uh, seeing the product make its way over to the Emirates and, and making a big difference in the Middle East as well. So we've also got, of course, uh, our our uh, 3D tools that we're working a lot with in Vegas. And here you can see a couple of really cool rigs set up with the uh, the helicopter and a couple of red epics, and all this content was edited directly inside of Vegas as we went into the project. And of course, we're, we're developing, or we have some, some nice uh, 3D automation tools in Vegas. Let's talk about Mayhem and uh, some of our other tools. Caption Assistant is one of our real popular tools. If you're not aware, as of January 2012, any content that you put up on the web or send out to broadcast that is government funded or socially related, it must be closed captioned by law. And we've developed this caption assistant tool that allows you to import text and, and uh, import files directly from Word or from a, a text reader or a notepad, whatever it is, and drop it into Vegas. And you've got instant closed captioning tools. It's being used by PBS and a couple of different productions. So we're excited about what's happening with caption assistant. Of course, Mayhem, that's been a real exciting tool for us. Mayhem and Scattershot have been making workflows a lot easier for people around the world. And thank you for the emails that you all send. And uh, we had a very successful contest with Scattershot, where users were writing in or sending in their 3D projects, and I think one of our Scattershot winners is, is here this evening. The Scattershot is our 3D tool. You can see that operating in the uh, Sony booth in the kiosks, and then we also have our regular presentations in the Sony kiosks at 2 o'clock, so make sure you come on down and check out uh, Donald Schultz and Ray Schlogel and the Bass tools that are happening in the booth here. And then finally, I'll move to our next piece here, talk about Ultimate S, the flagship of the Bass product lineup or our, our plug-in lineup tool. This is the one that really set the industry on edge. Over 500 different uh, automated features, or I should say features that are found in this tool. I think most of you are probably familiar with Ultimate S by now. One of the things that a lot of people don't know, uh, this is kind of the exciting thing for me, you might be familiar with a gentleman named Oren Paley. We've been trying to get Oren to come down here and talk to us for the last couple of years. 
Born is the producer of the, the uh, film Paranormal Activity, and Born did all of his 24p conversions for Paranormal or for PA, and all of his uh, film looks for Paranormal using Ultimate S. He started out using the freeware version of the software, and then purchased Ultimate S. And what you might not know is the most profitable him, film in the history of the world, the most profitable film in the history of the world, was cut in Vegas using our Ultimate S tool. The paranormal activity completely changed the, the film world with how inexpensive the film was to produce and how much money the film made. So for those of you that wonder what you can really do with Vegas, uh, oh, I also forgot to mention, 24P conver conversions were done there too. So uh, paranormal activity has really changed our world, and if nothing else, it's sort of an inspiration to those of us that want to, to make film. So looking at the, uh, the vast plug plug-in lineup there, you can see what we've got, Ultimate S Pro, Light, Mayhem, Scattershot, Infinity Cam, the Graph Packs, of course, DV Prep, Notepad, and we've got some really cool tools coming down the, the line, so stay tuned to Vast.com, you'll see more what's going on. If nothing else, I'll give myself a shameless plug for the new book. You want to check this one out, because between David, myself, John Refrano, uh, Dave Haddon, I think some of you know, know Dave from the uh, the forums, we've really produced a, a nice training piece for you that'll teach you some of the things about Vegas that you probably never know, or never knew before. So, uh, Thanks again for being here this evening, guys. Vegas is, has been an amazing family growth, an amazing family group. I'm really proud to be able to share it with all my family in the film industry, the television industry, the music industry, uh, my skydiving buddies that are, that are here with us this evening. So uh, thank you all for being here and looking forward to the rest of the evening. Thank you, Spot. I was entertaining. So AMD, one of our corporate sponsors this evening, has recognized, there it goes again, for high performance processors as well as advanced graphics, is leading the industry in the move towards heterogeneous computing, or the balanced use of both CPU and GPU technologies to deliver enhanced performance levels and capabilities in form factors not possible before. PCs and workstations featuring leading AMD products and technologies such as AMD Vision technology for PCs, AMD Opteron for servers and workstations, AMD Fire Pro Professional Graphics, and Radeon HD Graphics are available from top OEMs and integrators all around the planet. Charlie Boswell is AMD's Director of Digital Entertainment and also known as AMD's Chief Empathy Officer. In his role, he's empathetic both for the digital artist as well as the consumer. Charlie knows that both the artist and consumer have similar objectives. One is to create without barriers and the other is to become immersed in the creation without becoming an IT professional. He has chosen Sony Vegas for many years now as the production tool most respected by seasoned professionals as well as beginners. Please welcome Charlie Boswell. Hey, thank you, Dave, and uh, thank you, Sony. Uh, it's a pleasure to be back here with you guys. Um, I've been a Vegas user uh, since version two, and and, uh, you know, what I, what I do for AMD is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm an engineer, but I'm, I'm also a, a director. And um, I've been involved uh, in this role for about 10 years, working with large studios, with individual directors, who just struggle with technology. And I think I'm here tonight for the same reason you're here tonight. That means this stuff is incredible, it's organic, and it's happening. Let's give it all to hand. I want to kind of uh, give you guys an idea why it's such an honor for AMD to be here with Sony and Sony Creative Software. Uh, we have a shared vision, and that is to to remove barriers uh, from you know of technology and put put power into the hands of people. Uh, you know, sort of uh, the, the term uh, I like to use is sort of democratization of tools. The stuff that was used to be only uh, available to the big budget now is available to you, the filmmaker. And, uh, you know, you, Dave talked a lot about our technology, you know, our, our amazing GPU technology and, uh, and our CPU technology. But, but more importantly, it's our culture that makes a difference. And, and working with the amazing Sony team, we've been able to optimize now uh, Sony Vegas with, uh, with the GPU. You. And what that what that means to you, the filmmaker, is a couple of things. Um, one is cutting your render time down. Uh, 
Render to me is sort of an old school term, you know, like uh, let's break for lunch and while this thing renders, we'll come back, we'll make creative decisions based on what we see. Uh, what, what AMD and Sony have been able to do now is to, is to increase the, the uh, sort of bringing the GPU into the foreground now so you can make creative decisions, not in a render, not in a render situation, but in a preview situation where, uh, you know, for me, uh, cutting, uh, shooting a lot of uh, rock concerts, I'm doing multicam editing, so I'm working in the multi in, in the multi campaign a lot. Uh, uh, you know, uh, you're being able to cut between those things. The GPU is making a tremendous difference for me there. Um, but for you, the filmmaker, what I'm what I'm hearing tonight, and and just listening to amazing Douglas Spotted Eagle, who has helped me tremendously over over my Vegas journey, um, is that all these all these partners and this expanding Vegas universe is another.